Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're fine and staying at home. So, this class is number 11 and now we're still talking about grammar. We're still talking about the simple past of the be verb, okay? But now the idea is to practice more. I'm sending you guys only exercise to do. If you need, and I think you're gonna need it, okay, you can use the table that you, the table that you guys did yesterday to practice and to help you look for the answers. Okay, I'm gonna through, I'm gonna go through every part of the exercise that I want you to do. Okay, don't worry, it's very simple. So the first thing that you have to do is the workbook page 20. The numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, it's for you to complete that blank space with the corrective negative form, okay, for the verb be. You have to realize which subject is on the phrase and look for the right form of the verb be in the past, okay, and with the negative, remember, okay? Remember the verbs? Right in the front, in the beginning of the page, it has a table to remind you what they are, okay? Don't worry. Numbers 5, 6, 7 of that same page, you have to read the sentence, okay? Read the phrase and you have to rewrite that phrase, putting that on the simple past which means that you have to understand where is the verb be in that tense and put that verb be in the past form, okay? For example, there, there, there is an example. She is ready to go to the park. If you have to put that phrase in the past simple form, you have to do, she was ready to go to the park. Okay, so number five, six, and seven, you have to do that. You have to put the verb be in the simple past form, okay? The homeschool connection, you also have to do. So, you're going to write five sentences about something you did last summer. Or, if you want, you can, you can write five sentences that you did last week, for example. Or last two weekends, no problem. I just need five phrases, five sentences in the simple past form. Okay? Good. Now, the other page that I gave you, it's also exercise. So, you have to complete, okay? You have to put, complete the phrases using the past form, the simple past form of the verb be. Was, were, wasn't, or weren't. You have to understand when it's necessary the affirmative or the negative form and also the subject that it's written there, okay? Don't worry. Number two, you have to write short answers. Short answers means that you have to use the contractions, okay? If the answer is, yes, I was, okay? But if the answer is, no, I was not. You're not going to put was not. You're going to put wasn't. Okay? The contraction form of that simple past be verb. Okay? Good? Easy? I hope so. Be good, be safe, and stay at home. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.